Hey, ask me about my tribe, the Chapu Kutaguan Panak, who just raised over $100,000 with your help. Katapatanamu, unreal. Oh, you have to be born trans, you can't just do it. For context, this person was responding to a trans man who asked if he was a real guy, even if he looked like a woman. I truly can't understand why you would tell someone they can't be trans just because you assume they weren't born trans. You don't know him, you don't know his life, don't assume based on his appearance that he chose to be trans. The gatekeeping within the trans community is ridiculous because people like this are going around hurting innocent trans people just because they don't understand differing experiences and opinions. Some people can't transition for social, medical, or personal reasons, and some people just don't have a desire to medically transition. This doesn't make them less trans. All gatekeepers do is hurt the community. And Anyways, if you are trans, let me know how or when you found out, and I hope you have a lovely day. Are boomers okay? I wanted to just show you a quick thing. I think it's probably safe to say most of us have a traumatic memory or two buried deep in our brain. Memories that we would probably like to get rid of once and for all. Okay, so she's not wrong. It's totally accurate. But doesn't that indicate that it's not actually something wrong with us, but something wrong with the society that we live in? Like, thank you, wealthy looking white lady. EMDR therapy sounds great. But shouldn't we do something about the fact that people are just constantly getting traumatized? Like that, it's not a normal state of affairs for human beings or any mammal to just live with trauma. I think we could actually do something about that and lower the amount of people who are getting traumatized in the first place. In the book Capitalist Realism by Mark Fisher, oh yeah baby, you thought I wasn't gonna go here? Of course I'm going here. Big Daddy Fisher has answers. The concept of capitalist realism is basically that Capitalism is water and we are fish. Most of us don't even realize that we're swimming in it all the time. And it's really hard for us to imagine a world existing outside of capitalism. And so of course, in order to build a better world, we need to be able to imagine a better world. One of the ways that Fisher talks about capitalist realism functioning is via the privatization of stress. And that's where mental health and depression and anxiety are said to be our own faults or a fault of our brain chemistry, anything that blames the individual instead of these social circumstances that have led us all to be living in a horrible society that makes us incredibly stressed out and depressed. Trauma is an inherent side effect of the exploitation that capitalism and colonialism run on. And so if that's just always gonna be there, then we have to just deal with it on our own as individuals. Because if we recognize it as a social condition, we might organize to change those conditions. To learn more about this, you can read the book, it's short and it's really good, or you can join my Patreon where I give a whole summary of it and talk about this. Big thanks to those who already support my work. Your solidarity, oh, it's beautiful. Hello, and welcome back to Spite and History, also known as Things the Bad Mustache Man Hated, that I as a Jewish woman continue to do out of spite. And today we are back to fashion and companies that collaborated with the Not So Nice Party, coming together in the oft-requested Hugo Boss. Now in 1931, Hugo Boss the person started his namesake label and went from a man who just owned factories who made uniforms for the not so nice party to a card carrying member of the party itself. He ended up making monthly donations to the SS. Lovely. Now, contrary to popular belief, he did not design the black SS uniforms, the very famous ones, but he did manufacture numerous other uniforms for the not-so-nice party, including for the Bad Mustache Man youth, brown shirts, and the military itself. By 1940, he began to use slave labor of concentration camp victims, about 140 people plus 40 French POWs. Now, was this a break from the camps? No, it was almost just as bad because these people were working in putrid, filthy places where lice ran rampant. And if they didn't die working there, many of them were sent to Auschwitz and Buchenwald to die there. Now in 1999, the company finally agreed to start paying restitution to former forced laborers, their families and heirs. Is this enough? No. Of course not. This company was started by a collaborator, a party member, and so there is nothing for me redeemable within this. Now, do I wear suits? No, of course not. 
but do I have family members and loved ones that do wear suits and could possibly wear this? Yes. So do they get any of our money? <laughs> no. They're deliberately like uglifying themselves. You see them on, on TikTok. Ow. They're out of shape. They're asexual. Ugl they like they don't want they're like rejecting. They're rejecting the truth and beauty. They all look like rejects from a loony bin. Speak up when I hop about a cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up when I hop about a cut, I promise I'm gonna speak up when I hop about the cut, I promise I'm gonna make Okay, so some of my favorite conversations working as an interpreter. Hi, um, have you worked with a sign language interpreter before? Of course I know what an interpreter is. That's someone that owns their own business. Oh, gotcha. So that's, that's an entrepreneur. Uh, my job as an interpreter is to be here to help facilitate communication with you and the deaf consumer. Oh, gotcha. So you're his mom. No, no, um, I'm, I'm an interpreter. Um, I'm 25. He's also an adult, so that's not even possible. Anyway, so I'm here to help you guys communicate successfully. Mm, gotcha. So can you just go tell him he has an assignment due by 3 p.m. today? Sure, we can go together and have that conversation with the consumer. I just want to let you know it's really important to be inclusive and to just, like, address the consumer. You don't need to ask me to tell him. Right, that totally makes sense. So can you just go tell? You can. Why don't male gymnasts smell on their routine like female gymnasts do? Well, we've tried in the past, and... It's a little unsettling. I think this video is brilliant because it demonstrates how the patriarchy harms both men and women in really subtle ways that we don't often think about. Because of the expectation of masculinity and maleness in sport, these men are literally not allowed to smile. If they show emotion, if they show positive emotion, it's looked at as feminine. Then you need to flip it on its head and ask it from the other perspective because the question isn't just why aren't male gymnasts allowed to smile? The question is also why are female gymnasts expected to smile? There's a reason why in every single photo you see of famous athletes playing sports, they look angry, right? Our body's natural inclination to exhausting ourselves isn't to smile and look happy, it's to be mad. Yet female gymnasts are doing some of the most impressive feats of strength that we see in any sport, and they're expected to do so with a big, beautiful smile on their face because they're not only performing for the judges, they're performing for the male gaze. Proud to be a man on a day like this. True that I saw her hair like the branch of a tree. Willow dancing on air before covering me under cotton and calico. Here's what I've noticed after trying to date people who have been socialized as pretty their entire lives. When they come into adulthood, they realize that beauty is no longer currency. It doesn't really hold up in relationships as long as they want it to. So they are then forced to have a personality outside of their desirability. And that is why every time they fall short, when they encounter someone that doesn't use beauty as currency. When that person forces them to confront their ideologies that hide behind dealing with ugliness. And that is why they struggle to create community. Because they've existed on an island their entire lives. Your Jewish friends, they see and hear your silence. I guess we're having a history lesson. You had so many words for trans women and Dylan to invalidate them. And now you're out here being like, must protect the Jewish people. I don't know how to inform you of this. It's a package deal, Jill. As a Jewish trans woman who loves applied history, let me tell you, it is a package deal. One of the first book burnings in Germany was all trans research. The man in charge of that research was called the world's most dangerous Jew by you-know-who. Over the past half a year, we've had multiple regurgitations of this conspiracy theory that trans people are some kind of Jewish plot. In fact, the pew pewer from Buffalo, the grocery store, yeah, it was in his manifesto. You cannot walk arm in arm with transphobes, with fascists, and then turn around and be shocked when you find out that they're also anti-Semitic. Fascism eats, and it never stops. 
If you're scrolling, I need you to stop and give me 60 seconds. The world only listens to me when I am the loud, angry black woman. Let me be that because I am up to here with us not addressing and scrolling past the videos of Jahi McMillan. This little boy is 15 years old. We can go to bed and wake up in the morning. Jahi will never be able to experience that again. Mom will never be able to have him for another holiday. As we're all ignoring his story, the police is getting away with murder again. And since I care so much, I cannot allow his murder to go unanswered if you're watching this video and you don't share silence is violence and you're picking your side he needs a voice and it's up to his community to be it for him december 3rd we are having a rally for jaheem so they can release the body cam footage it's been over two months the police is elongating it so you will forget we will never forget we need everyone who could fly or drive out to be here and if you can't please repost the flyer and make a video pod to the people